South Carolina not the only state impacted by that hurricane today. Western North Carolina saw tremendous damage from the storm. Residents in many communities there are dealing with historic flooding tonight, including Asheville and Boone. And several areas of I-40 toward Tennessee washed out tonight. Here's Tom Hansen. Floodwaters inside this Tennessee hospital forced patients and their caregivers to seek shelter on the roof. Emergency responders used helicopters to rescue about 50 people and bring them to safety. There were emotional reunions when those stranded were back on the ground and safe. In Helene's aftermath, drone footage in hard hit Florida shows widespread flooding on Siesta Key near Sarasota. Godspeed Cedar Key. This is uh, Widden heading down the Gulf. I was trying to make it to my mama's house but it's neck deep here. Cedar Key is among countless places where people were rescued overnight as Helene battered the southeast. Whatever the wind damage was far outweighed by the surge. I mean, it's just when you have all this water coming in, it's just devastating. This team in South Pasadena, Florida, called out for people who might need help when several homes caught fire. Helene is the third hurricane to hit the Big Bend region of the Sunshine State in the last 13 months. Here in Tallahassee, the state capital was spared a direct hit, but the deadly storm still took out trees and power lines. At the height of the hurricane, millions across the southeast were without power. In Georgia, sparks flew as power lines were downed. Helene ripped the roof and walls from this building in Valdosta. North Carolina forecasters warned of nearly unprecedented flooding. Helene is causing life-threatening flash flooding, numerous landslides and downed trees causing power outages. Flooding will continue through the weekend in some areas. And a suspected tornado caused damage on the ground in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, injuring several people. Tom Hanson, CBS News, Tallahassee, Florida.